Oh man, we, we've been doing a lot of stuff lately. I've been recording tons of footage today, you guys. Sheesh. Oh, there's a question mark up there. Let's go see what this is about real quick. I was about to, like, intentionally end the episode off right there, but... Seems like we've got something to go... Oh, is it, is it... This guy wants his saloon cleaned again? He's got a rat infestation or something? What, what's happening here? Morning, it's, it's inside of here, right? Or, no? This? What's happening here? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? What? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and Ooh. shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Don't need to remember to censor that out. <laughs> Lost eight bucks there. Sheesh. Got a sketch. What if we can... Oh, man, another thing going on over here. Is this related to that thing? I, I don't know. Might be something else entirely. Let's go see. Sheesh, I was going to end the episode off like five minutes ago, but now here we are. Hey. What's that guy? I think he's like in a robe, but what in the world? Excuse me, I'm collecting for the poor. Oh, Jesus, another one of these. Yeah, I'm pretty poor. I just got robbed 700 bucks. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> You have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure, why not? We have money. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. 
I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help what? the poor. The fence? The fence? All this time? Wait, why did I just give that guy five cents? That's it. I just spent like eight dollars on heckin' drinks with that one guy, and I give that guy eight cents? Sheesh. Morning. Yeah. Hey, look out! Yeah. Hello, mister. Did that guy just say, Hello. yep, yep, like he's mocking me? Yep. <laughs> Alright, the, the guy over here at the green door of the fence. I guess we're going to be investigating this guy after all. Yep. Oh! Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. I always love breaking into the heckin' place like that, sheesh. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Wait, what in the world? I can't. Oh. I guess I don't have room. Threaten them then. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Alright, open the fake news bookcase. Yeah, I guess if you look at the minimap, it does show there's a room back there, huh? This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Open the door. I don't know which. Yeah, you can't even physically see which book it is. But well, Arthur's going to find it. Yep, there it is. Hello? Cállate, cállate. Oh, jeez. He wasn't lying. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Sheesh. Well, at least it's only two. I, I was kind of worried there would be like 10, Por 20 favor. people or something. Let's help out the Spanish guy. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Or Mexican guy, I don't know. Speaking Spanish, who knows what he is. ¿Quién eres? Oh wait, they're both speaking Spanish. I thought one of them was... Okay, well... Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Alright, well we got both those guys returned to the monk. Is that it? Is that, I don't know if those guys know English gracias, or not, señor. but... Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now, I promise. Well, hopefully they follow me out of here even though they seemingly don't know English. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. I take a... Uh... Oh yeah, sure, why not? Give cash to... Is that something I could do here? Because I was, I was about to say, like, hey, he's gone. Might as well rob the place, right? Jeez. Give him some money. Here. Take that. And come with me. I know someone who can help you. <laughs> the other guy going to take his share? His cut? Yep. Nice. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well search some... Hey, I got some honor from that. Hey, nice. What about this chest back here? Can I search that? Oh, wait. What in the world? Hold on. Oh, I guess I can't search that then, huh? Anything else there I can search? I don't think so then, huh? Taxidermized beaver right there. Yeah, I guess that's it, huh? Let's go back to that monk outside. Look at that, you guys. If this is is if this isn't giving us hardcore honor, then I don't know what this would. way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres, y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Yep, we're doing a good job here, you guys. They're following us out. They're free. And they have money. Probably more money than I don't know how much that is, because that's a fence. You never know how much money those guys have. Sheesh. Well, good to see you again. Yep. Yep, they're still behind us. Man, they're, they're one of them, they're probably both stars. You look at that guy back there, you can see his ribs. Sheesh. I can only imagine they're both like that. The other guys, I can't see his ribs, because of his shirt, but... Man, hopefully that money should help him out. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. Found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's well. They are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. 
Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give to the poor. Wait, what? I already paid those guys, but you know what? I've got money. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. That guy seems like a pretty... How did I get bronze? I even did, like... I even gave him money. How could I have... Po oh, oh what, wait, what in the world? Without threatening. So I had to actually beat the guy? So I could have got gold on this pretty easily if I, you know, hurried up and... I can beat the guy, but I tried to beat him, but I guess maybe because I was in such close quarters, I couldn't actually... I can beat him. But apparently, threatening him is something you don't want to do. Or I could have just, I'm like, now with my own knowledge, I could replay it. You guys want to replay it? See if we can get gold on this? It seems like a pretty easy one to get gold on, you know? Yeah, let's do it. I'm like, it's not anything crazy. There's no shootout, there's nothing. I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. So we'll just you skip this. You. I, can tell. I just have to go over there, just basically speedrun this, hey, dude. Here's me in my Ultimate Universe outfit and everything. Yeah, donate, sure, why not? I'm like, it's, donate, it's Ultimate Universe stuff, so it doesn't matter. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic. Yeah, skip that. We already saw the. Yeah, here we are. We're in the game now. Yeah, look at that. Wow, look at our honor. It's really, really good right now, you guys. Holy heck. So we have like two and a half minutes or something like that to free the captives. Sure is brought out. I assume that means from now until they're freed, so might as well get there as fast as we can. At least it looks like in this alternate universe. Alternate universe? My gun still looks the same as. Oh, sheesh, we passed it. Here we go. Oh, my! Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Yep. Shall do. Let's just go straight to the... Oh yeah, look at that, right there. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Oh yeah, maybe that's something. Instead of uh, beating them. Something don't seem right. Hmm. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. Who? They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Don't beat him. Just intimidate him. Or don't threaten him. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Now, now he says it's a big red book. There it is right there. Pretty obvious. It's like the only- well, there's some other red books there, but... Whatever. <laughs> oh, Alright. Hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Let's free these fellers. Por favor, ayúdanos. Hurry up, speed running. Please. Speed running. Speed run them. Oh, jeez. Por favor. I guess I can't. Uh, free him, yes. I, I tried shooting it, but like it wouldn't let me for some yeah. reason. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Nice. Quien eres? Free this fella, too. Please. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Yep, let's go return to the monk. And I could do the uh, the, the cash register thing again, just because, hey, why not? Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Here we go. Do that again. That was kind of cool. I didn't even notice this was a thing. I was originally just going to rob it just because the guy wasn't here, but it seems like you can give him. I'm like, if we're getting insane amounts of honor. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at all that money. Here. Take that. And come with me. I know someone who can help you. Now the other fella get the money. Yep. Alright, follow me. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder if I can, like, grind this mission to get, like, max honor. Or if it's like, oh yeah, you're only getting this honor way. in this ultimate universe. No Nothing. Poor bastards. Can I go out that way? Yeah, I can. 
Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think so, yeah. I have to go that way with the trapper and all that stuff. I thought I could have gone out, out there a lot faster. Well, we, we didn't we didn't threaten him, we just kind of intimidated him with our gun. So hopefully we still get gold from this. Let's hurry up. We already freed him decently fast, I'd say, so hopefully we got that bit done. Let's go talk to the monk. Be like, hey, here they are, and they've got money! Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Yeah, skip this bit. We already saw this. And he's gonna ask us for the money. Let's just give it to the poor. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Alright, now how do we do in this one? It only took like four or five minutes to do this, so... If I failed, I could just do it again off camera. Not a big deal. How do we do this time, huh? Is it going to tell us? Probably going to take a second. Uh... I don't know. I got bronze again? How in the world? What? And I didn't even do the 245 bit. What in the world? Okay, whatever. Forget that. Jeez. Alright, well... I don't know if our honor... I'm like, oh yeah, holy heck. Look at how much our honor just skipped right there. Holy heck. Not bad at all. Honor's even fed. Hey, am I even... Am I getting like 20% better now? For the prizes or something like that? Hold on. Because it was 10% earlier. I, I assume it's maybe 15, maybe even 20? Oh, look at that! My, my weight's doing better. I've got average... Or average weight now. Nice. Damage absorption, negative 4.5. Steer clear of snacks to avoid gaining weight quickly. Well, I needed to gain weight in the first place. Store price is still negative 10%. Thought it would have been like 15, maybe 20 by now because of how high it seemingly is. But maybe needs to get a... Let's see, where's that right now? It's about maybe like 60%, I'd say. 60 out of 100%. Maybe a little bit more than that. So maybe if we get like 75%, it'll be a little bit better at like 15, 20. Or so uh, negative... 15 20% on prices. But, anyways, I think we did a pretty good amount of work here, you guys. Pretty good amount of uh, good deeds, I guess you could say. And just random trash or in general, right? So, I think right now, I think I'm going to end the episode off. I've been recording so much heckin' footage the past like day and a half that uh, I, I really need to leave off because, man, we, we gained so much like storyline stuff here that I kind of want to like move on to the other smaller stuff again. Maybe do the Albert Mason thing again. Maybe go find those other gunslinger guys and uh, kind of go do those things because we've been doing a lot of main storyline stuff. Might as well do some of the smaller storyline stuff or even go hunting for that legendary bison or whatever that was. Maybe go hunting for that thing again see if we can actually successfully kill it this time around, right? Especially now that we have even better guns now. We got that bolt action. Uh, even though we, it doesn't really matter what we kill it with, we can kill it with a shotgun for all that matters and we'll still get really good uh we'll still get to hide and whatever else so it doesn't really matter to be quite honest but for right now let's see how do we get back to the new base the new manor the new mansion how far away is that and how easy is that to get to from saint denis let's see somebody help me. whoa somebody needs help whoa stuff happening up here you guys right there. Nice the oh geez lemoyne raiders I just save a feller? Bless you, mister. I think I did. Yep. Hey there, mister. What are you doing? You gonna give me money? Get to running, friend. He'll be looking for you. No. Oh, whoa. Is that a woman? What in the world? Is that like a half body, right? No, it's not. Okay, okay. Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't want to heck and kill some random one. Uh, on what? I guess I do lose honor by looting dead bot. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that, that's an innocent person right there. Yeah, whoops. I guess I, I lost a little bit of honor for looting this innocent guy right here, huh? Yeah, rest in peace, whoops. Well, don't want to get that evidence on me, so hey, I'm just going to go. But looting Lamont Raiders, yeah, that's completely fine, completely acceptable. But if you loot some guy that's already hacking dead, whew, you better watch the heck out. How dare you? <laughs> oh, yeah, and then there's this guy's horse here. I guess we could steal these horses. I don't know if I could lead two horses at once or anything like that, but uh, let's see if I can search the shadow back, get a little bit of loot. No mind if I can do. Open gin? Any money? Nah, no money, I guess, huh? Search this saddlebag, too. But it is going to be a lot, uh, really, really far away from the 
horse fence guy. Fine brandy and something else I've got. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. But it's going to be a little, little while away. Little while away. Or, I guess miles away. <laughs> Let's go, girl. From the horse fence, yep. so. If, even if I was able to wrangle those two horses up, it'd be quite a while. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's the mansion up there. It's going to be quite a while until we get to the horse fence, and I don't think it's really worth that kind of money, especially when we already have fantastic money. Even though we did lose a heckin' ton of it already, but... Oh, jeez, again! Man! What did I even hit? Some random mound that was sticking out? Sheesh. Man. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Keep going there, horse. Yep. Pretty good uh, defensive position here, though, with like water all over the place. You gotta admit, Shady Bell Bayou. Yep. Man, this this chapter or whatever came by quite quick. It seemed like we spent a lot more time at the Horseshoe Overlook chapter than we did at the uh, Clemens Point chapter, but whatever. I guess real quick we see before we end off the episode, we can see where where's Arthur's place? It's his bedroom, and there's that great thing again on the minimap. I don't know what that is. Guess we'll see what that is here in just a moment. Whoa. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> He's gonna be okay. Oh, yeah, it's Abigail. <laughs> Nobody would harm a child. <laughs> It'll be okay, I promise. It'll be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. We're going to get him back. Hi there. We're going to find him, Karen. You better. I swear. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure, Arthur. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're slowly getting closer to... Oh, is this where I have to go in? Slowly getting closer to finding him, so that's good. Oh, this is my... Oh, is that my own... Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's for wardrobe. This is for fast travel. This is my uh, guns, that's on, so I can get cartridges and stuff. Seems like it's going to be a lot easier getting ammunition from this setup than uh, from the wagon. Just stand in the same spot and just hold down square and just get everything, right? Yep. It seems like we're good to go. Still don't think there's like a location where, yeah, that's where I could shave. Don't think there's like a location where I could store money, so unfortunately I'm, I'm basically going to lose a lot of money. If I'm not careful, you know. Anyways, what in the world is that gray thing on the map? What? Oh, it's oh, it's a horse stimulant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why does that keep showing there? I don't know why that's like so significant that they're giving it its own like little marker on the map. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, I guess that's going to be our room, and I could easily just hop to this. Yep. Oh, yep. There you go. Down to the second <laughs> first floor there. And then where do we? Oh, we have to go upstairs to go contribute to the camp funds. How are we doing? Yeah, 162. I've already upgraded most everything, but I assume there's probably new things that we can upgrade here at this new location, so I guess I can go check the ledger real quick. Just for curiosity's sake, is there anything we can actually upgrade here at the new camp, or whatever you want to call this, I don't know. Let's check the ledger. Oh, I hit the contribute. Ah, I guess I can contribute a little bit, right? Wouldn't hurt. Uh, let's give items. Sure, why not? Donate that thing. Silver pocket watch. Eight bucks. Another eight bucks from another one. Boom. Yeah, sure, just straight up stuff. There we go. I don't know how much I just gave right there, but yeah, take the silver clamp buckles. Yeah, this is garbage anyways. Probably get like nothing from it anyways. Not like it really matters anyways, when we have so much heckin' money. <laughs> Missing out on a little bit of gold wedding ring. God, it's always savage seeing heckin' wedding rings that we're just giving away. <laughs> anyways, contribute nah. Let's go to the ledger. Can I not use the ledger? Oh, here we go. Use the ledger there, Arthur. See if there's anything here of significance that we can actually upgrade. Next page. Blah, 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 blah. Next page. Seems like everything's already maxed out. Yeah, camp boo. I don't know. I'm like, I guess we could still use it. So I'm like 450. I'm like, easy transport and access to fishing holes. And that's pretty much it, it seems. I'm like, it doesn't really matter if we buy it or not, but. The uh, ammunition. Sure, why not restock that? I'm like, I just got like everything, so hey. <laughs> And now that's yellow, that's good provisions. Sure, wanna upgrade or buy that stuff. And doesn't seem like that provisions one turned yellow, so that's unfortunate. Nope. Medicine's already yellow, so that's good. I don't think I can do anything else for provisions unless I directly 
uh, like bring dead bodies over here, like heckin' venison or whatever else. What's in here? Is this just a random... I guess I can't go in there. Okay, whatever. Alright, well, I guess this is gonna be our new camp here. With like a heckin' mansion in the middle where I have my own bedroom. Yeah, living large. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna end the episode off right here, man. We've got a lot of good progress done these last few episodes. I'm very proud of our progress we're making here in the game. Definitely making a lot of good storyline progress, too. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are as well. There's, uh, oh, I thought that was Dutch up there, but that's some other guy. Doesn't even have his own name, it seems like. <laughs> At least on the minimap. So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Red Dead Redemption 2, where... Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I... I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really? I can't. Sheesh. Can't uh, help people that can't help themselves, I guess, huh? Well, anyways, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see you guys here next time with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, bye there.